All right, everybody, and welcome back to the epic conclusion of Spyro the Dragon. I think we got to fight Nasty Nork, and according to this, we're missing one dragon, but we have all the gems everywhere. So let's go on in. And let's go deal with Nasty Nork. There he is, right from the beginning, the first. Gotta make sure we get all these gems. Because there's still a bit of treasure left. And he is firing at us, so we do have to be careful of that. Ah, shit. Okay, now we gotta chase these green guys. Is there a dragon in here? I need to check. No, there isn't. Okay. <laughs> there is 500... There are 500 gems in here, though. Dear Lord. Got him. So I think I have to open this door first. And there's another guy in here. These are my dreaded enemies. But yeah, it's, it's, it's okay to go through this the first time a little slowly. Because you do want to make sure that you get all of the gems. Because as much as you probably don't want to have to come back here... Like, you just, you just don't want to do it. You don't want to have to come back here. Got him. And everything's kind of straightforward, so... You should be okay. You should be pretty okay with getting all the gems after this. Alright, Nork. Yeah, we are gonna go a bit slow this first time, so... And just like... Oh no! Oh jeez. Woo! And just like almost every other boss we've had, Nasty Nork amounts to a freaking chase. But, I mean, it's good because it kind of shows off your ability to use... Your ability to control Spyro, basically. That's what this final boss is. It's mostly just a test for you. Can you control Spyro? Can you handle the dragon? Come on, Nark. Nasty Nork. Got him! Alright. Now, here is the really hard part. This is... Because these platforms here... They're going to start to shrink. And you got to be really quick about this. Or else they're going to disappear... And you're not going to be able to actually catch Nork. Oh, here we go! The final hit! You're toast, Nork. <laughs> we did it. And obviously, the moment you beat Nork, you get booted out of the level. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Gnork? Nasty Nork? <laughs> is toast! Ganasty so Gnork is toasted! Now order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. <laughs> and with that, we win! Congratulations! Hooray! Oh man, that's Spyro the Dragon. However, you're probably aware. There's just a tiny little bit more to do. We gotta get one more dragon, and there's 
fill that one little spot. That one little hiding spot in Nasty North Zone. So these, these credits are going to roll and they're going to guess kind of go through every single level. Which I'm fine with because the Insomniac Games crew worked on this game and it is such a good game. I love it. I love this game so much. It's a game, it's the first game I ever 100% completed. And it's a game that stuck with me ever since I was a kid. So... It's, it's quite an accomplishment for me to be able to go back and 100% complete it again. Like, I forgot how spotty these controls were, how, how, how fluid it felt, how slippery it felt. Slippery, I guess, is the best way of putting it. And this game just, I know that, this, that a lot of people grew up with this game. And it just, it's, it's part of my childhood. And I'm really glad I was able to share this childhood bit with you guys. Uh... Oh yeah, the, the dragon voices. Six. Wow, the dragon voices were done by about seven people. Woohoo! Flying through these places. Oh man, some of these levels... <laughs> Like, anything that involved the charge was just such a problem for me. And, I mean, let me know about what you guys felt. Like, if you guys played this game as a kid, do you guys remember those charges being as difficult as they were? Or am I just kind of blowing it out of proportion a little bit? Like, do you know that I've edited most of these so that it looks like I've not struggled so much? No sheep were harmed during the making of this game. A few norks. But no sheep. We are returning home. Oh! Look at this! Another dragon! Rescued Magnus. Nasty's ancient history now. So, what's in there? I believe this is Nasty's treasure hoard. But the gate will not open until you have found everything in the Dragon Kingdom. Come back when you have reached 100%. Nice. I think that puts us at 100%, though. Boom! Yeah! 100%. Look at that. It's open for us. Nasty's loot. This is the joy of beating this game 100%. And this is why beating this game 100% is such a good thing. Because this game, this game actually rewards you. And it's not just a simple thing. Because watch this. We're flying. We can't fly very high. We have to find more perches. But we're flying. And if you look, if you look through this place, there's 2,000 gems in here, and we're gonna get all of them. Why did you just bop me into the ground? We're gonna get all of them, and it's gonna be amazing. Because it's like, you just beat Nasty North, and by beating him, you get to take all of his treasure, which is so fantastic. I don't know what's over here. I feel like we should be getting somewhere here. And just listen to that music, too. The music's really cool. Oh, a thief! Gimme! Give Gimme give your key! Aha! Got it right away. It's like, the 2000 is not as much as you think, because there's a lot of 10 and 25 gems in here. 
So it's not as much of a struggle as you'll expect it to be. You'd expect it to be. There we go. Now that should open that door up. And that gives us a higher perch to jump from. I think that's what the point of this is. Yeah, unlocking those things will make it so that we can fly higher. And that's kind of how this, uh, that's how this final level works, is that the higher you get, the higher your flight can go. So you're just kind of traveling upwards. Upwards and onwards, my friend. So yeah, definitely, definitely let me know what you guys want to see next. Because as of now, we might just stick with Starbound for a little bit, just to uh, feel some things out. But if you guys really have a, have something you want to see, let me know. I'm more than happy to figure it out how to do it and how to oblige. Oh, the planes! The planes! We can't get up high enough to him. Oh yeah, see, you can't actually leave until, uh... <laughs> until you can get up there, which is so cool. I love this place. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta chase... Chase the guy! Chase the plane down! If we can find it. Oh, I think he went into here, actually. Oh, boy. As silly as it sounds, I've, I've kind of run out of things to talk about today. Like, we've done... We've done it. We've 100% of this game. And we're doing... We're doing amazing. I'm happy. I'm excited. Are you guys happy? Because I sure am. Oh my goodness. We gotta get more keys. Gotta take Chase. Would you guys be wanting to see Spyro 2 in the future? I'm not going to do Spyro 2 just yet. Uh, I do want that little break from Spyro. But, I'm more than happy to play it. It's a lot harder than this one. And it's a lot bigger too. Where did that plane guy go? Huh, that's weird. Alright, buddy, where'd you go? I wonder if flapping my wings makes me go faster. It might, actually. I get to this guy. We somehow gotta toast him real quick.
All right, come on. Just cut the shortcuts. Just hit the hit the shortcuts as much as you can. Oh no! Almost had him. Like, make it so that you're not turning when he has to turn. That's how you do it. Got him. Figured it out. All right. We get one ten gem in here, but it also unlocks all of everything, all of the height for flight. You got Nasty Nork's portrait right there. And with that, we've 100% of the game, guys. 100% completed. Spyro the Dragon, you've defeated Ganasty Ganork, collected the dragon eggs, saved all the dragons, and recovered every bit of treasure in the Dragon Kingdom. How do you feel? I feel fired up, Bob. And I'm happy for the dragon world, of course. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't want to spend the rest of my dragon days butting heads with Nasty Nork and his weird minions. What's a minion? Uh, never mind. Key. You know what they say. For every good battle, That's funny. you need a good adversary. And I felt that Nasty, in spite of his misguided nature, was a worthy opponent. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Here we go again. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, thankfully, we don't have to go through all that again. That was fun, guys. Thank you guys for coming along with me through this. I'm gonna leave the credits here. I will see you guys in the next one. And thank you. <laughs>